Hey guys, Han here. Today is our fourth episode, and wow, episode 3 was a mind blowing episode. So, we had a total of four deaths in the episode, which is unfortunate, but we also had a big review of the relationship between Thomas Zane, Barbara Jagger, and Cynthia Weaver. And towards the end, we hear the darkness rip the kidnapper to shreds. But more importantly, he revealed that he never had Alice. So where is Alice exactly and how is she contacting us? I hope that we have the answers to that in this episode. And as always, do give the video a like and subscribe for more content right here on Swan Place. But without further ado, let's begin! Previously on Alan Wake, I'm hunted by the law. Sheriff, Wake's running. I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. <sighs> it's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported <sighs> kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. Alan, shh, baby. It was just a nightmare. Alice. There you go, Alan. Hartman. You. Well, I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I. You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you lie. You're suffering from various Earth. symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, okay Alan. Alan. Just, Just let, let go. go. go, 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 Where are we? I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. There were only empty sheets of paper here. No manuscript pages. The door was locked. I was a prisoner here. It's like they turn up the saturation down all the way. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. No. I'm I see punch you. That gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message loud and clear. Why, right. That's the spirit. You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Okay. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. What's the problem, bro? <laughs> this way, Alan. Oh, Anderson. Wait, should I just explore first? Yeah. What's this? Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, 
a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying, but under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. Oh, that's, that's the phrase that Barry used as well. <laughs> I guess... Where are we? Is this Cauldron Lake? I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mirror Peak on the other side of the lake. Wow. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. Ooh. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. The lodge is huge, man. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now, we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. What does this say? Beyond the shadow you set up for, there's a miracle illuminated. Thomas Zane. In the beyond the shadow itself. Huh. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, in tenebras. Because you're lying. Cutterate. Because you don't want to admit that you're not well. It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. After all, Herman I'm the one trying to bring you voice. out of the world. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I can't I dug do my it nails by into myself. the palms of my hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that. We can begin the journey towards your recovery. Yeah, this doctor, seriously. I hope they don't hit me with another drug. But the scenery is very nice though. Come along, let's go inside. I wonder if there's any actual place that really resembles this. Oh. Yeah. Come on, come on. So here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn um. wonderful, yeah. I don't like hunting. Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> Emerson. <laughs> Who is this I'm character? A real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, <laughs> Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, <laughs> I'm happy to say. He works on video Elbow games. Strike. Ooh, it's yeah. trash, ah, of yeah. course, but yeah. it does involve I'll some small head. creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. 
No kidding. Why am I son? Who are you? How many of them are you? In your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. There are like so many of these guts all around me. Welcome to Cauldron Lake Lodge. We are here to give you specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure they don't interfere with your therapy or periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patients' need for privacy and personal space, especially when they are engaged by their creative processes. Oh, wow. Typically, our patients have long-term creative problems that they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time you need. Bear in mind that you are voluntarily receiving treatment that has been specifically tailored for you. Engagement therapy trademark and its sister method, the flow trademark work best when you are actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to voice them. Well, I certainly do feel like hitting the doctor. Hey, the Anderson's brother. You're killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a... how should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well in advanced stages of dementia. They are well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. <laughs> I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. They're playing Night Springs. No, oh, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? No. I mean... I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Whoa. <laughs> Sonny, who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. Say, <laughs> you're huh? all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm, Valhalla. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Put it all down, lest we forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. Oh my god, where did you pull that out from? My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Tom, you got any booze on you? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, we have guys. a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula, local ingredients, medicine clears your head right up. Makes you remember like moonbeams on the brain. Moonbeams. Oh, just noticed leather patches on the elbows. That's not very I'm rock and roll. Tom just <laughs> lost is all. Baba Yaga got to him too, the damn witch. She used us all, taken from all of us. Took my thunder, the witch. And my ravens, what was, what were they? Memory and thought, the hag. She took something from you too, didn't she? That's what she does. Oh, um, we're better off. This place, the lake, it gives you power. If you're a creator, an artist, 
Hard gah. Nightmare shifted in their sleep in the darkness of the lake. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. She makes sure it comes out twisted and raw. Just ask the lamp lady. She knows what happened. To the other rider. She's been using you, boy. And you let her. You went and opened the door for her, didn't you? Now, now, it was already open a crack. And whose fault is that? We're morally corrupt, disease-ridden, old and stupid. Doesn't mean he had to open it all the way, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so somehow the Anderson's brother so tired. was exposed to Barbara Jagger. Lake, a place of power. We had parties there, man. You... You should go there and have a party. Huh. That Bob Balder threw the app through the window, hit that a hippie chick in the back of the head. Fifteen stitches of the concussion. Bob's dead now. So apparently when you're near the lake, it gives you the power to stitches, manifest your creativity. Narcs, man. <laughs> Bad scene. Hmm. Is that why this lodge is here? Tired, so tired. Like the doctor is trying to get use of patience here to create things. For the darkness, I think. Yeah. Good thing he's not overreacting or anything. Well, he's the boss. I may need a hand here later on, Birch. The storm's bound to make you know who jumpy. You know how they get. Gotcha. The doctor Ooh. Wake here, but heard it holler right if they there. get too rowdy. All dreams that, are only Birch. imagination. They're only in your head, and they're not there when you wake up. So oh man, everyone's going crazy now. Because I'm in charge now, and I don't want to disappear. My nightmare is the publisher people. Okay, at least I can check on who is this guy. Oh, hello. I've painted you. What? Okay. I was just struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. Yeah? He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting better. That looks more like a kidnapper than me, right? Well, I guess I'd better start wrapping this up. The storm is almost here. Look at that. I'd hate to be out there tonight. Yeah, me too. Okay, there's nothing here, so... Saw that we can go up, I think. So we should go up, probably. And that makes me the scariest nightmare of all. Are you okay, Emerson? Hope you are all right. Hey, Wake, why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? The typewriter's in your room. You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. Sure. Oof. Something's wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. There's a hole in her chest? I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. So yeah, we essentially confirmed that the darkness is using people as vessels to write their own stories. Or rather to manipulate their own stories to write whatever the darkness wants it to be. And here's another QR code. You might want to try and scan that. I tried it on the second episode, I think. It's quite a it's it's a phrase that Alan Wake used. So you might want to you might be interested in that. 
Hartman wanted me to write. I knew I couldn't, but I figured I should just play along for now. It was the only thing I could do with Nurse Birch watching me like a hawk. Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. Okay. okay. That means I have to get a key later on. Quick. Emerson? Ah, so we know who Emerson is now. Lane. Oh, Lane is the artist. Okay, that's good to know. And I guess the soul is the lady who is singing. Nice springs. Death Rally. I thought he's making video games, no? He's playing Night Springs on Xbox 360. And that is a map of the game. Wonder where this is. It looks like forest. Maybe you can figure that out. Yes, right. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, wake! You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Where the hell did he get a damn hammer? I don't know. Oh, it's chaotic out there. Afraid of the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now, are we? Oh, and script. Well, things are unraveling fast, aren't they? Ha ha! Na ha ha ha! What happened, man? It's the key even there now. I'm taking it! No, the key is still not there yet. Hmm. We're on a comeback tour, baby! What is the Anderson's brother doing? Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love. Oh my god! The backstage is she was all yours, Tom. She had to come. your destiny. I could get the key to the office wing from Sinclair. Okay. Come out and face I had to the get music to birds. Birds. It's He had taken to all my the papers. That's where he'd been keeping them. Maybe you could come out and beat our wrinkled adult diapered asses for it. Oh my god. What's that sound? We were on the road, man. You think we haven't seen punks like you before? I wonder if this key can activate the generator. What's this? The oh? photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all along. Holy shit! Wait, are they together, working together to make me write? That's why he wanted the manuscript. I'm gonna do your crazy quack ass what? Barry is here as well? Barry? Oh, hello. About time. Barry, man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no. The cops found me at Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else I'd sue their asses. Speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time. But I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy, Al. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up. But when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's... What's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. That'll what? Be <laughs> yeah, that's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal, we gotta get going. Los, okay, before we go, uh, I need to explore this open room here. Wonder what's here, man. 
The markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. Liz? I couldn't breathe right. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? <sighs> he's more and more out of control all the time. The parties, he's so angry all the time. He's getting violent. He's... Do you mean with you? No, not with me. No, never. I... Sometimes I almost wish Alan would take a swing at me, because at least that'd lead to a conversation he couldn't just march out of. But no, he just, Alan doesn't really sleep. And the work, well, he's not writing at all. He sits there for hours and just gets more and more frustrated. And I can't talk to him. Yes, tell me, Mrs. Wake, what would you say to him if he'd listen? <sighs> I look at you, and it's not you. Just some stranger who resembles you. Looking out from behind your eyes. And I don't like that guy much. And now it's all gonna go to hell. But you don't ever say this. No. No. I've tried, but he's not listening. He's too deep in his own problems. Always going on about something else. I'm so afraid I'm gonna lose him. And we're not even talking anymore. He doesn't let me in anymore. He just keeps me in the dark. I'm so alone here, even when he's home. Please help me, doctor, because I'm at my wit's end. Well, if you can just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut up of this. Ah, okay. So that is how Alice was actually talking to us through the phone. Okay. Rudolph Lane's case is interesting. He huh. was completely blocked and frankly, I was about to discard him as useless. However, once Wake arrived and started writing, Something changed in Rudolph. He's producing extraordinary work, increasingly dark pieces. Unfortunately, he doesn't respond to direction at all. And it's my belief that he's not so much a creator as an illustrator, perhaps. A recorder of sorts. I hadn't considered the existence of such a role before, let alone its implications, but the paintings he has produced are informative. At least he's easily controlled and useful. I wish I could say the same about Wake. It's frustrating that the best subjects are always so damn difficult to deal with. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So he is really manipulating all of us. But what's the reason? I was tailing Wheeler, and this is the only place he could have gone. That means Wake is probably there too. Agent Nightingale. This is private property, and I will not allow you to disturb my patients. Yeah? I can get a warrant. How are your fragile little patients like that? <laughs> oh, I'm thoroughly intimidated by your mighty authority now, Agent. Listen, you smug snob. How would you like it if I busted through this gate and knocked you around a little? Agent Nightingale, first of all, I'm recording this conversation, so you might want to watch what you say. Secondly, you're not dealing with a hick now. I know the law, and if you can get a judge to grant a warrant, I'll be glad to cooperate. But you won't get one. Be advised that any further communications with me are to be made through my lawyer. I don't believe this. Good day, Agent. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's interesting. But yeah, you can see that uh, Rudolf Lane, who is the artist outside, he started to paint. Since starting to paint all this darkness, who's possessed uh, the people. Hmm. I wonder what he's using the map for. Okay, that's good. Cool, interesting. These were all the pages I had on me. And more.
Alan, please. You're sliding back into the... Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. What an asshole. Let's work together on this. You have no idea. Harvey, shut up. Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. Oh, damn. God, I just had a shiver. Whoa, what's with that smile? Holy shit, wake. Do you see how wake smile? Oh my god, he's damn weird right now. Oh shit, the darkness is here. Oh my god, the entire room is filled with darkness. Wait, wait, wait. Come on, let's open the door. Oh shit, it's creeping towards me. Oh my god. Holy shit, that's bad. Where am I supposed to go? Oh! Okay, okay, okay. I definitely need a generator up there. What the shit is the problem with these people, man? Oh my god, look at the darkness, holy shit. It's gonna take damn long. I wonder what the TV is showing right now. I have no idea what that is. Ooh! Crap! Let's get out of here. Oh my god. We only have one flare. How is that gonna help? Holy crap. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of this place. More manuscripts. Wait, a TV they can use right now? What the heck is that? Oh shit. Oh, come on! Holy shit! Okay, uh, here? I may have to wait for the ball to crash, right? Okay... Yep, I definitely need to get out of here. Woo! Okay, time to go! Is there anything that I'm missing right here? Let's get out. Oh, come on, seriously, I have to bait the ball? Uh, ball, come on. Good boy. Whoa! Ah oh, shit, that mi that's a mistake. Hey, that's not fair. Ah oh, shit, I think I'll die though. Ah. Oh. Three hits from the ball. That's our fifth death. Death by balls. What am I saying?
fight. No, at least he needs three hits to destroy the gate. Oof, okay, that's good. Ouch. I don't think that's worth it though. I'm supposed to get him out of the corner. Man, it's not coming on. Do I really have to sacrifice my life? Okay, good boy. I'm right here, man. I'm right here. Oh, nice. I love you. I'm here. Hey, man. But the gate's locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. Okay. I don't have a light. Take this, Al. Oh God! Look at the house, Al. Look out! Holy shit! Oh come on, seriously. I know, I know. Trying to get out here as well. Catch mace, right? Oh man, mace, seriously? Okay, just trust me, alright? I'll get you guys out of this mace. Just follow the left side of the mace and you'll eventually turn out to the right. Oh yeah? That's, help that's helping me a lot. Ooh. Don't trust Emil. Yes, I, I just realized that. <laughs> oh shit. Why do you guys have to keep moving like that? Okay, I have to confess, this episode is scary. Oh my god. There should be one more, right? Okay, that's cool. I have one flare. Wow, that's that's like four four ammo. That's a lot. I don't think there's anything here. Oh, there's another manuscript. Okay, thank God. Thank goodness that we are here. I don't know why, but uh, Alan Wick's stamina seems very low this episode. There. Who's making all that noises? You get two bells in the morning, and then you'll be nice and cold. Whoa, it's the god. Oh. 
shit, man. Okay, oh, I'm lucky that he only punched me. Oh my god, how many people are there? Okay, I need to get out here. Holy shit, this is way too much. I need to get up there. Oof. Ooh, oh my god, this is scary. I have to deal with birds, small guy, big guys, and that guard. Holy crap. Oh man, I should have taken the flag on a long time ago. What race? I could have died. Killed all of them in one shot. I mean, would the nurse be here as well? There's like two guards or something. Shotgun. This isn't a lot to work with. This is obviously a trap. I have only one flag gun. Damn it. Oh, I knew it! I knew it! There's no way you guys have let me have a break, man. Oh, I didn't miss out anything on the right. Uh, flares? Oh, come on. Oh, oh man, I can feel my heart pumping damn badly right now. Come down a bit. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's anything here. And yeah, we have to go somewhere there. Oh shit. Oh, is there a cash here? Oh yes, there's a cash. Nice. More resources. Yes, another oh wait, there's there's two flag guns. That only means that there is more enemy hit. Which is bad. I mean it's it's fun. But you know. I'd rather have a storytelling I am rather than such an intense time. It's essentially the game is essentially making me fight against all types of enemy at, at this point. Okay. Oh, uh, I want to reach Barry, but let me check this for now. Wow. I mean the scenery is very nice. So are you prepared? I bet this will be a very big fight. Try to walk the corners. Ow! You're alive! Oh yeah? Come on. Maybe. What do you mean maybe? Well, I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so uh I knew it. 
I knew it. I'll find it. Don't worry about it. God damn it. Okay, so we have left, right, and three at the front. Hurry up, Barry! I'm on it! I'm on it! It's like one guy. Yep. Wait, what? Okay, I can't fight here. Oh my god! Oh wow, that is ruthless. Okay, I can't stay there. It's a kill box. That's our sixth death. <laughs> okay, let's go. I need a small guys to chase me as well. Wait, are they chasing Barry? Oh, come on, Barry. Now's not the time to... Oh, wow. That's lucky for me. God damn it, Barry. Here it is. Alex. Okay, good, good, good. Let's get out of here. Woo! This is scary. Please tell me we're headed for the nearest. You're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were going to say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, <laughs> if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're going to buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm going to live in it. But yeah, we can assume that the meal is either possessed or dead by this point. Oh yeah, we haven't considered the patience. Anderson's brother, the Emerson, Emerson, who's the kung fu guy. You are by far the craziest. But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. The painter and the lady that gone crazy. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Ow. How can you know that? I know, Barry. I can. Al, I. No, listen. I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! Oh, no. Oh, shit. Holy crap. Ow. God damn it, I'll talk to me. Okay, I think this is a good point to stop right now and oh I will stop this video right here and then we can catch up on the next one uh, as soon as I post for the next episode, uh, which is part two of this episode four. See ya! So that's it for today. Do leave a comment down below in the comment section to tell me if you prefer the hour-long episodic format or if you prefer other videos. And as always, 
do give the video a like and subscribe for more gameplay videos right here on Sunplays. See ya!